everyone, it's Simply Deck Designs here, and today I'm here showing you guys my business binder. This video was requested by a few different people, and I really wanted to get this video up because it's been a while, and I've really tried to work on my business binder lately. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you what mine is like and things you can do to try to update your business binder to stay more organized. Alright, so this is what my binder looks like. It's just this really pretty binder. I got this at Walmart. I think it was like $3. I'm not really sure. It was a while ago. But I just have some of my favorite duct tape labels on here. I have the I Heart Bacon Tape, Pigs Fly, Pastel Blue, and Holiday Dots, and the Green Waves. And then over here in this corner, I just have SDD Doodled for Simply Duck Designs, obviously. So the first thing you see when you open my binder is you see a pin, which I just keep in here to write down all my orders because over here, I have this Hello Kitty notepad. It's just a little sticky sheet, as you can see, and it's just stuck on here. And then I have these little stickers, which are just to price some of my wallets when I'm like on the go, and I need to put the price on them quickly. Then on this side, I have these Ziploc bags, which are covered in duct tape to make them a little more pretty. So the first one I have is this Cherries, and it's a smaller little bag. And I just have these large amount of business cards to keep in there, so that way they're with me everywhere I go. And this little bag holds them quite nicely. Then I have this very large bag, which is covered in the blue and white polka dot tape. And you just open that up, and I'll show you what's in this one. In here I have another little book for orders. This is a Amazing Spider-Man old comic book book. And basically I just have my orders in here. I haven't filled all of this up because I don't I haven't used this quite as much as I use the sticky notes. But as you can see I have name, email, phone, address, orders, and then there's how many orders you can get at one time. Then I just have this cute little bubbles pencil from the Powerpuff Girls. And I keep these little Ziploc bags that I use for packaging my wallets for on-the-go packaging. So that way I always have these if I have a wallet with me and I need to package them quickly. Then I have this little card to use as an example for all the card pockets fitting if I have a wallet with me that people want to see and just to make sure that everything fits. So once you flip that over, you will see this, which I just have titled as Wallets and Such. Just because it's a menu of all of my wallets and crafts that I make, and it's the prices. Then these things I haven't filled in yet because I haven't really had any ideas lately. And if I had, I've just went ahead and made it instead of writing it down. But this is just for wallet ideas that I could write down if I had any ideas. And these are for design ideas like what kind of designs I would want to put on the wallet and the color combos and stuff like that. Then over here I have some sticky notes that people have wrote down for me that I've just stuck in here so I'm reminded of what I need to do and what they want. So I really recommend doing this because it really does help you keep track of all your orders. Then I have this little thing that says notes and it's for tapes I need and I've already gotten all the tapes that I need. As you can see, they're all scratched out. But I really recommend doing this as well because that way you never lose track of what tapes you need for certain orders. And then over here I have some labels which show you what kind of tapes that you can order that I can get a hold of pretty easily. So these are just some random colors. I have black, white, red, green, ocean, electric blue. And then over here I have cookie and then chrome. Atomic yellow, pastel pink, pastel blue, pastel purple, and as you can see that says rare, so it's harder for me to get, so people know that right off the bat. And then I have mustache, um, pink and white polka dots, penguins, and denim, which actually got ripped a little bit. And then I have real tree camo, which is actually really popular in Maryland. And then I have the little Mickey Mouse tape. And then I have some girlier ones over here. I have the zebra hearts. I have flying pigs, which is really popular as well. And then I have wallflower, cherries, zebra, um, peace swirl, I think that's what it's called. And then I have some more boy patterns that boys seem to order a lot. I have the skulls, the dragon, which is, I should write that it's rare now because I think that one's discontinued. Um, the new graffiti, checkers, Bacon and Cosmic Tie-Dye, which is actually pretty popular with the guys around here for some reason. I have the blue plaid, I have the Avengers, 
NFL tape, Hello Kitty the first, broke, and then I don't know why I put the scotch one on there, but that's not rare. So that is a look at my business binder. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and get some ideas to keep yourself more organized. Also guys, if I could get 20 likes on this video for being my 100th video here on YouTube, that would be really great. Just remember, I will be having a big contest once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys can get me there, hopefully pretty soon, I will be having that. Thank you guys so much for watching and requesting this video, and I will talk to you all in the next. Bye!